All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Upfront Games. Here we are again another week. I know we're a little late today on the upload, but to be honest with you, to show my dedication, uh, I just got back from a trip to Santa Fe, about a five-hour drive here, and then I gathered all my materials, put everything together, and push it out to you. So here we are. Um, let me get into first PlayStation as usual. Um, today our trailer is for the game called Gris. So uh, check this out and we'll get right into it. Alright guys, that was Chris. Um, that kind of plays along the lines of a flower or uh, I always forget the name of the other one, but they're really great artsy type games. Um, you can see that we're getting a little bit scarce with um, top game releases and, and big titles coming. That is because holidays are right around the corner and of course we all know that some of the big titles are going to release around the holiday season. Um, so we'll definitely have more coming in the upcoming weeks for stuff like that. Well, let's go ahead and jump into uh, PlayStation news for the week. Uh, again, real quick on Gris. I think it looks great. I, I kind of love the art style uh, when it comes to the game, but I also loved playing the likes of Flower and um, a couple of the other ones that came out around that same time kind of had that same like art feel to it. Uh, they were really great games, but if you're not into that sort of thing, well, then maybe you just pass on Gris. But um, let's jump into it. So Horizon Zero Dawn, the Frozen Wilds gear, is storming into Monster Hunter uh, uh, World Iceborne. So it's in the form of the improved Storm Slinger, which if you've played um, the Frozen Wilds, uh, that's a weapon uh, that you eventually get in the game. Um, at Master Rank 24 in Monster Hunter World Iceborne, you can take on the Xenogor or Xenogre. I'm not sure how they're pronouncing that. I haven't delved into the game yet. But... Um, it's like a Scorcher in Horizon Zero Dawn, so you take that on um, and you get this weapon that is uh, like uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds gear. Um, so that's just one way they've kind of implemented uh, the cross between Monster Hunter World Iceborne and Horizon Zero Dawn the Frozen Wilds. So I have a feeling they plan on doing a little bit more with this. Uh, but we'll have to see as uh, the days, weeks, months go forward. Um, the final thing for PlayStation this week is the uh, the FIA Gran Turismo Championships happened in Monaco, and they completed today. Um, it also had uh, a few new releases for the game that were part of the uh, championship. They would it was part of the live airing, I guess uh, you could say. Um, it had new releases for the game from Mazda and Lamborghini. They each had concepts that they were um, touting for the game and to be released within Gran Turismo Sport. So uh, that's exciting. That's actually really cool. Let's go ahead and move into Xbox. 
like I said, everything's kind of scarce uh, coming up to the holidays. So for this week, I chose uh, Super Dodgeball Beats that comes out on the 28th. So uh, go ahead and check out the trailer. Super Dodgeball Beats. Poison, Toad, Donut. All right, and as you probably noticed that the release date calendar for Super Dodgeball Beats is a little off. Uh, yeah, it said August definitely for um, all three systems, I believe. Uh, and here we are in November. So um, that releases on the 28th again. Um, let's move forward with Xbox News for the week. So Rainbow Six Siege crossed over with Netflix's Money Heist for a special in-game event adding a new show-inspired mode and cosmetic items through today. So if you're just now watching this and it's tomorrow, Monday the 25th, you probably missed it. But um, that being said, Xbox Live Gold members could try the content for free and the new cosmetics could be nabbed for 1680 R6 credits within the game. Um, get ready for Black Friday. It's coming from all these systems and for Xbox they've got something that's actually pretty cool. Um, you can go into the store and make your wish list and then if any of your titles go on sale for Black Friday you'll get a notification on the system through your profile letting you know that yes and this titles on sale here's the price if you want to buy it now it's actually pretty cool um, but that's it when it comes to Xbox so let's go ahead and move into Nintendo so for Nintendo this week we've got Overcooked and Overcooked 2. Um, I love these games, but here's the trailer. One. Alright guys, that was the trailer for Overcooked 2. Now, let me break this down. This isn't something that is new to the Switch, but this week being very slim on the Switch side, uh, this is, they're doing a combination Overcooked and Overcooked 2 on one uh, cartridge. So that's kind of where this comes from. So we'll play that trailer uh, to bring out that title. It's Overcooked and Overcooked 2 on one cartridge it releases this week. Alright, so moving forward into Nintendo, Zombie launches Mario Kart Racing merch range. Uh, it's a whole line based on the franchise including t-shirts, screen prints, hoodies, special number plates like metal number plates from the game, and a mug. Um, it looks really cool, so check that out if you would like. They're a company out of the UK, again, Zavi, Z-A-B-B-I. So go ahead and check them out if you're interested in any Mario Kart merchandise. All right, 3,000 pocket monsters can now be stored for Pokemon Go. Niantic released an update that, re that raises, sorry, the amount of Pokemon to 3,000 and bag upgrades to 2,500 items. Diehard players may actually use this 
and the in-game price to obtain it hasn't changed from previous updates. So if you've been playing this game and you've got that many to store, by all means go ahead and purchase that in-game with in-game currency um, and you know raise your caps by 500 on each. If you're just starting, you won't need this. Um, so you know maybe one day you'll get there if you're starting to play the game. However, um, if you're diehard, you probably have already capped out and been frustrated because it's been some time since they've done an well, update for storage of both your Pokemon and your items. So there you have it. That's it for Nintendo. By all means, again, like, comment, subscribe. And starting next week, we will have Stadia News. And uh, I believe next week's the end of the month, is it not? Let me check my calendar here. Um, Come on, load up. Today's the 24th. So, yeah, next week is the end of the month. So, that being said, next week we're going to get a special treat because it's the end of the month. So, Sunday we will do our regular episode with regular news. But we will also have two end of the month videos. A review on Need for Speed Heat uh, because I did promise that at the beginning of the month. Also, a review on Google Stadia because I have it. I am unboxing it today. I'm going to see how it plays, what they've offered, how the controller responds, etc. And give you a full on review of Google Stadia. So stay tuned for that. You've got plenty coming next week. Again, like, comment, subscribe, and by all means, share with your friends. Until next week, have a good one, and we'll talk to you later. Peace.